Uh, good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is a remarkable day, not because miracles are happening here, but because we have a group that deems it fit to uphold our culture, to keep something down for posterity. And this is the second edition of the festival called Alba Freak Dance Festival. It started last year, and I happen to be the guest speaker there in Accra. And this is a festival that brings dance groups from Benin, Togo, and Ghana. They converge at Aflau, and what they do is exhibition of our indigenous cultures through music and dance. So this afternoon, having the pleasure to be the chair of this uh, function of launching the festival for 2019, I am so delighted to be in the chair, but also to let you know that Mausobarisa, the almighty God, the architect of the universe, is already in the chair. And everything we will do, will do it by his grace. I also have other personalities, some they've mentioned their names, others from academia, from traditional authorities, and we have Dr. Sarah Dobaji there. Let's put our hands together for her. And I would like to thank all musicians who have displayed some kind of musical talent, the dancers who have also exhibited some kinesthetic advances. We really want to thank Toby Hunu, who has been the brain behind all this kind of new movement of trying to maintain our cultural heritage and also safeguard it and keep it for posterity. And so what we are going to see is just the launch of the festival, which I'm delighted to witness as, as the chair. I'm doing all the talking because after <laughs> this one, I won't have the opportunity to talk again. The, the miracle will just be flowing. So I would like to com commend this uh, young man, Toby Hunu, who is actually leading this movement of trying to preserve African <laughs> cultural values through music, dance, and miracles. And I would like to thank the miracle performers all the way from Benin. And you see, when we sit here and say Africa does not have technological powers, it's a delusion. And I'm very, very, very serious about that. It's a delusion. We were doing miracles before the Westerners actually came to this part of the world. But these Miracles still live on our land. We don't know much about them because we haven't started serious documentation. So the graduate students who are here, it's a golden opportunity for you to start faculty. <clears throat> faculty must also recognize this and extend our research work into this because we have done this kind of recycling for so long. Things that people have written, we have reviewed them, reconstructed them, and we have done a whole lot of alterations. When we talk about originality, what are we talking about? So much in our culture we need to explore. And this is a perfect example. And I'm going to urge all of you to pay a close attention to every activity that will go on here so that we can get Africa, Ghana going again in terms of knowledge bodies that define us as a unique continent, as a unique country, as a unique 